This is the SolidCom M1 system, and I've been using this for just about two months, and I wanted to give you my thoughts. What's a comm unit actually for? Is this a good unit for the price point? What do I like about it? And what do I not like about it? Here's my review. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that one of the things I am really a big fan of is communication when I am filming. And for the last bunch of years, what we normally use are walkie talkies. You've seen it a lot of the behind the scenes weddings and anytime you are with us on any sort of commercial shoot, we're always using walkie talkies to just be able to communicate quickly when we're talking between each other. But there are lots of times that a walkie talkie type setup, meaning you have to press a button to talk and the other person has to press a button to respond back sometimes doesn't work as well when you're in a live type of performance or recording or something that you're working with a bunch of people at once. Sometimes a walkie talkie system is not well made for that. So that's where a comm unit comes into place and becomes really convenient to use. So let's get right into some of the things I really love about this unit and why I think it's actually very, very well priced for how great it actually is. First off, if you're unfamiliar with what a comm unit even is and why would you need these and why would you wear you know these big headsets every single time that you're filming the answer is communication and the answer is direct communication and instant without the need to basically press any buttons if you want to talk back and forth to each other so something like a setting where you're doing live switching in real time where there's someone calling the shots and saying camera four camera five you know going live this is very commonly used obviously in a live broadcast scenario and it's also used when you have a lot of people that need to talk in real time throughout an event whether it's just camera stuff whether it's audio based whether it's a group of people that are doing just anything in a group together comm units are very very nice for that because they have basically a main base station where everything is transmitted through but the connection is immediate it's able to be basically live mics at all times so people can talk with their hands free not worrying about pushing any buttons it's really really useful for that for example at my church every single week when we have eight camera people running the actual cameras during a live service we have a switcher in the back who's always calling all the shots of what camera's going and everyone has their own headset and they're listening in real time that's vital because obviously if you're doing something in a live setting and you need to make sure that you know your camera is live or that your camera is being recorded or whatever you need to be able to hear that communication now something like walkie talkies wouldn't work great for that type of thing because anytime the camera person would have to talk back they'd have to take their hand off the camera push the button and talk comm units can just be live and active in real time so you could just have communication back and forth so that's the main use kind of of comm units in general now not everybody would use a comm unit on a regular basis but I have found over the last couple of months owning these and even before that, there are lots of purposes and things that I've used them for that have been really convenient. This unit specifically is the one that has eight belt packs, eight headsets, and your main receiver, nice molded case, everything transports really, really nicely in a small package. It goes for $7,000 US. And then there's a smaller version that has just four belt packs, all the same features, just has less belt packs, and that goes for about $4,000. So depending on your needs, you may not necessarily need one with all eight, but I found it to be really convenient and I'll talk about that. So this is a fully wireless comm unit and what's really great about that is each headset plugs into one of these belt packs and the belt pack has a battery built in and it's wirelessly transmitting to the base station and to all the other comm units which make it really convenient when you are anywhere because you don't have to worry about running any sort of long cables, you don't have to worry about the battery life because each one of these actually comes with a replacement battery as well. It takes two and a half hours to actually charge each battery, but each battery lasts for over six hours. And I would say well over six hours because we did some testing on it and we ran it for about eight hours straight and it still was at half battery life. So they last a long time. And basically with that additional battery that comes with it in a charging cycle, you can basically run as long as you want and never run out of battery. And the main unit itself can be powered from batteries, which is great because if you're in a remote location that does not have power, you can run that off of batteries as well. Or you can plug this main unit in to an actual outlet and then run that forever. But you would essentially have 
unlimited battery life when you just kind of keep swapping those together. These units are really small, about the size of a cell phone. They can clip on your belt or you can use an included lanyard if you wanted to have it more hanging from here and then you could basically have access to press the buttons a little bit easier directly from here. We always found that we like them just as much just putting on the belt pack out of the way, let the comm unit run, the cable run down the back of our shirts, whatever, and it's nicely out of the way and convenient to use. You're never really having to press this or touch this very often because realistically the way that we found it to work best is you press this talk button and leave it live the whole time and then you just flip this headset down when you want the mic to go live and when you flip it back up it automatically mutes it. In terms of range we haven't tested the max they can possibly go because we've never run into a situation where they weren't basically full range capacity but they claim it's 1300 feet which is a good distance that is over four football fields. Now that's obviously obviously going to be like very good line of sight type of distance. I would assume their range is based on that. It's not going to be going through 16 stories of a building and being able to go through crazy, crazy walls. We've tested them in fairly large areas and have had no issue whatsoever. Obviously, if you start to run them into basements or things that there's much bigger cement walls and all those, you might start to run into range issues. But this is more designed for everyone kind of being in the same room, same large room, and being able to have plenty of range no matter how large the room it is. The other great thing about these units is just how they work right out of the box immediately and they're set up and ready to go. When I took this out of the box for the very first time, I charged up all the batteries, I plugged the headsets in, turned on this main unit, and they were all instantly working and talking with one another. That's great because it doesn't require this lengthy setup or expertise understanding like what frequencies to be on. You basically have different groups and you can group these based on who should be talking to who. That's one of the features that I really like because it allows three groupings to happen. So for example, you could have a couple of belt packs on A and a couple of belt packs on B or C, and that way you could have different groups that actually are talking to each other simultaneously all through the systems. So for example, maybe you have four people that are doing camera switching and then you have an audio department that is also using two or three of them. You could have them on different channels so they're not talking over each other, but you still only need one main receiver to actually do that. That's really convenient. It also allows if there's someone that wanted to kind of go back and forth listening to what's happening on the different groups, one person can bounce between groups as much as they want by simply taking the belt pack and switching which group they're actually in. So it's really nice if you are doing a bunch of different people using comm units that aren't necessarily all communicating to each other in real time. So I loved that feature as well. It's also super quick to set these up. What's cool about these units is everything kind of works just right out of the box, like I said, but it's also very portable. You know, I'm showing it to you obviously here in the charging station and all that, but this unit as itself actually has two built-in antennas on it, but you can put additional large antennas that come with it if you want an even further range. But even just like this, pulling it right out of the box, popping two batteries in the back, you can get still a really, really usable far range from it. You can plug the additional two big antennas on if you want even more range, but you can just pull it out of the box, pull these out, turn them on, plug the headsets in, and you're ready to go. There's not a big bulky setup to it, and I really liked that. This actual main like receiver here has your, your typical light stand type of setup, so you can really put it right on a light stand or a tripod or anything you want and just have this be kind of in the middle of the room or in a corner of the room, whatever, and you can get good range right away from it, and it's very easy to set up and use. The way the range actually works is that they say that there's basically up to 1,300 feet of range on the front of the unit with an additional 160 feet of range behind the unit. Therefore, depending on what your setup is, normally this would be kind of more in the back of a room and all the range would be happening in front of it. But if you were doing something where you wanted that range to be all over the place, you could put the additional antennas on it and put it in the middle of the room. And then I believe it claims that there's basically 900 feet or 950 feet of range surrounding the unit instead. So the unit itself does not not have to have the antennas on it, but you typically would put that in the back of the room, everything in front of it, or you can set up in the middle and everything goes around it if you use the antennas. So you kind of have some flexibility. I found that it's easy to just not even use the antennas if you have a smaller room, because then you don't have to hook anything up at all. The antennas are very large, so if you do have to hook those up, it's just one thing you have to screw on, but pretty simple but it works great even if you just use it out of the box with the built-in antennas. Now, as I mentioned, this is fully a wireless comm unit, but what's great about this is it actually has 
the connections to be able to connect to existing comm units that are very popular and you could use these kind of as just your wireless ones. That's actually really convenient for us, for example, at a church where we already had a comm unit hooked up and most of those comms were actually wired and that may be common in a situation where you're bringing these in and you're looking to add these to an existing unit. They work with all your standard ones like Clearcom and Hanson and all those ones that are more popular from a wired standpoint. You can plug right into these units and then allow these to just be additional receivers for your already existing network in a wireless form which is great because at the church, for example, we really just want the actual camera people to be wireless since they're the ones roaming around the room, but we don't need to purchase tons and tons of wireless packs for people that are stationary because we can just run them as a wired comm and then you don't have to worry about any sort of interference at all. So it works great that you can pair these with existing units. I find that to be really, really attractive for anyone because you can add it too rather than having to just replace everything you already have if you're looking to do that. In terms of build quality, I think that they did a really good job of making these units very, very well built. These pa these belt packs feel very nicely built. They don't feel like a plastic cheap thing that's gonna break. They feel like they could withstand actual real use. All the buttons feel very good and tactile. They don't feel like the antennas are gonna break off. They even thought of clever little things like they made the shapes of each one of these A, B, and C groups to be different. So you can instantly reach down and feel the difference of the button if you needed to switch groups on a regular basis, which is nice. Little things that might not seem like a big deal to you, but just nice little things that they thought of. The volume button is very conveniently placed in the back so you can you know, turn the volume up and down on how loud the headset is for you. They allowed an additional headset port that if you didn't want to use the ones that actually come with it, you can actually connect the kind that you prefer to this. So maybe you want to use more of the um, the privacy security style like CIA looking ones that we've used in the past. You can hook up whatever headset you kind of prefer to this if you want to just listen in. So they thought of things as they were planning these and they didn't just make it like a use ours or use nothing type of setup. These kind of can adapt to anything that you choose. When it comes to the actual quality of what it sounds like when you're talking, I found them to be very, very good and clear. We were using a different comm system at our church, and when I test these in comparison, these were night and day difference in terms of just how good you could hear someone, how good you could talk. They sounded very, very good and consistent. You didn't feel like you had to scream into it. The headset is built very nice that you can really bend it into place to fit exactly where you need right in front of your mouth. It also has the ability to let you hear yourself over your comm unit, so you can get a feel for how loud the actual volume is, even if there's no one else talking at that current moment. So I really, really liked that. Um, it's, it's nice being able to have a really comfortable headset to use. I personally like having a headset like this where it's actually just one headset and the other one is open because it allows you to still have communication with people on the outside. Sometimes we use the ones that have two headsets at our church and you can't hear anything else. So if someone comes up to talk to you, you obviously have to like take one off. I like this setup a lot because it allows you to still hear what you need, but not be completely um, isolated from the rest of what's happening. Now, if that's your preference, you obviously can buy a headset that has two ear cups instead. But I kind of like this setup for a comm unit because it allows me to still have you know some some conversation with people outside of it. The other nice thing about this system is that it allows for some expandability. This unit comes with eight belt packs, like I said, but if you actually were in a situation where you needed more than eight, you can buy additional units and actually connect them with the RJ45 connector so that you can have 16 people instead of eight being wireless and it just is one cable that connects them and then they all talk on the same network. That's really nice because if you want more than just eight, you're not limited to that. You can kind of expand your network and still have no problem with interference and connecting 16 people at once. So it really is good because at our church, for example, we have more than eight people on it. So it's nice because we can just hook up to our current system and use this as the wireless option, or we could just buy two sets of these and have plenty of comm available for everyone on the same unit, which is really, really great. Now, one thing I really like about this unit is that it gives you all of what you need to see very easily from this main receiver itself. So you can see all the packs, you can see who is talking and who's not. You can see what their current battery life is, as well as how good their connection, their actual wireless connection is to the main unit. 
that's really nice because if you were to be able to see in real time, hey, this one's about to go dead battery wise, the person using it may not even know that, but you could very easily kind of keep an eye on things. You can also do all your group assignments from here and you can see everything that's happening right from this unit, which is great. Same with the actual units themselves on each one. You can very clearly see what group you're on, your battery life, your reception to the actual main unit, and everything's very accessible and easy to see and utilize. It's also really easy to swap out batteries and all the buttons are very easy to find, very easy to push. They feel good, feels well built, and overall just is a really, really nice design. What I thought was really cool about this unit itself is the fact that these also can be powered with batteries and they just used your typical NPF750 Sony batteries, which is great because I have a lot of these, but most importantly, it's nice because if I wanted to use this common unit outside or at some sort of outdoor event, it sometimes isn't easy to just find power to put this in the right location. And the fact that these can run on batteries and run on batteries for a pretty extended period of time is great. What's cool about it as well is you can actually just unplug one of the batteries and put a new battery in and the unit doesn't turn off. The two batteries are made for extended battery life, but they don't require two at all times to use. That's awesome because if you were to bring a bunch of rechargeable batteries, for example, you're not staring at this and wondering when it's going to go dead. And then you have to quickly turn the unit off. All the comm goes out, change the batteries, and then you're talking again. You can literally just keep it on a stand, pop one off. You see that the battery, it still continues to work with the battery unplugs. You can put a fresh battery in that one and then do the same for the other one over the course of time. And you can never essentially run out of batteries. With the battery life being that high of eight to 10 hours possibly per unit, which we found in our testing, you're really not gonna run into many events where you're gonna run out of battery with this plus the extra battery because in a given day, you may only have a 12 or 15 hour filming day and these are gonna kinda last that entire day and that's if you're using them the entire time. If you wanted additional battery life, you could obviously just turn them off during breaks of any sort or whatever, but we left them on for eight hours straight and still had half battery and I was pretty impressed with that. So let's talk a little bit about the headset. They are the HS308 headsets that come with it and I really like them. They can go on either side, so you can either have the microphone on this side, or if you prefer on the left side, you could just flip the microphone to the other way, and then it can be on the left side. And what's great about it is that it is designed so obviously you can bend it and put it into position however you want. You also can leave it on talk the whole time, and all you have to do is put this up, and once the microphone is up, it actually turns off the mic and mutes the mic, and then you can bring it down to talk and bring it back up. I found in my testing that was actually the way I preferred to use it the most. Just always have this on and then just quickly put this down if I needed to talk and put it up when I didn't want to. That way I didn't have to kind of find and, and you know locate the button on my belt back. Now if you wanted to have them on the whole time like this, you obviously could and then just press the talk button either from the belt pack or if you wanted to have it as the lanyard, which they do include, you could do that as well if you wanted it right there. But they work really, really nice for that. And like I said, they're nice and comfortable. They feel well built. They don't feel like they're going to break and it includes eight headsets with it. This is what it looks like when you're wearing it. Just your typical comm setup. So who exactly is this unit for? In my testing, I would say that it's for anyone that doesn't need more than eight to 16 belt backs realistically because it is really, really capable of doing kind of anything. I haven't run into any situations where it hasn't worked or been reliable. They claim in their site that they're usually targeting people with 100 to 1,000 guests in like a church event or some sort of um, medium-sized electronic field per productions, exhibitions, concerts, so kind of anyone. And I would kind of agree because we haven't run into any issues where it has not worked. It's got great battery life. It's very well built. It's easy to set up. It works. And really those are the most important things when it comes to a comm unit, because if you're using them regularly, like we like to do, you want to be able to just get it out and use it as quick as possible without any sort of legwork to get things up and running. And these are as simple as setting them up, turning them all on and they're connected you're ready to go. There's no sort of scanning of frequencies or no sort of worrying about whether they're gonna work in one place or the other. They just work and that's kind of what you'd expect and hope in a unit like this. So I hope that was helpful in some capacity and if you're wondering whether or not these are for you, hopefully this answers some of your questions. I'm happy to try to answer any additional questions if you wanna comment below on that. But for the most part, I'd give this two thumbs up if that's the rating I was gonna give. I'm excited to use these more on productions and if you're someone that does a lot of live stream productions or church productions or anything where you're wanting really good communication with your team in real time, highly recommend that you check these out. You can buy them wherever you probably buy most of your camera stuff. So thanks for watching.